Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, former Envoy Stream here, and here we are, we're looking at the new update to Farm Sim 22, update 1.14 as it is online on PC, but for me on console, PlayStation, is update 1.28. So yeah, there is a couple of updates, including what I'm showcasing here, because we've got two new additions to the Bell and Stacking Challenge. So we're using the Volvo 120H. That is one of the new additions. So yeah, if you're familiar with the Bell Stacking Challenge, as yeah, I'm not very good at this, but I'll admit to that. Manual Bell Stacking. But yeah, so we've got the Volvo here. Along with this, we've got the Kubota M7 front loader. So we'll have a look at that now. And here's the second vehicle we got. We got the Kubota M7 with front loader. So yeah, let's give this a little test round. Of course, I'm not going to be good at this. But yeah, along with this, we do have updates to the arena and updates to the game in general. This is mainly for PC related stuff, but yeah, little Kabuta here. Not too bad. Yeah, again, not a pro bell sacker, I will admit to that. But yeah, let's grab one more bell before we go with the rest of the updates. But yeah, apart from that, let's go with the rest of the updates. Along with that, if you head to multiplayer, if you do the arena mode, the free by free, there is two updates to it. It says fixed cars jumping upwards when driving over drops. Along with that, arena performance while drops are waiting to be picked up. So yeah, that's all the updates to the bell stacking and the arena. Next, we'll look at the rest of the updates. Of which is, and I'll leave an overlay display up, so feel free to pause if you want to have a look. So yeah, along with the bell stacking and arena updates, we got the improved visor rendering of the firefighter clothing, fixed connecting hoses with the Greenmead GL860, fixed crashes with long inline bells, so those massive sausage bells, fixed visual issues with wheel hubs moving around, fixed decals partially clipping on various machinery that I have experience with. Along with this, there are some updates to modding so add vehicle lot debug viewer gs vehicle debug lot so if you're a modder you probably know what that is now there is a known issue on pc with amd fsr3 frame generation on or restarting the game with a third party overlay slash hook in active may cause the game to crash such as obs game capture use display capture instead along with this it says as always with updates with infos out you may experience some stutteriness and that and little lag bits with the graphics and that. Uh, best way to do it is from PC, fly around the map. If you're on console like me, I am, what I tend to do is get a vehicle, drive around the map. Now I do this when I ever update my maps as well. It's just drive around and sort of clears the cache it does in a way. I'm not too sure how it all works, but or the shaders in this case, but yeah. So that is the update to FS22 Change Dog 1.14, as you see here. Or if you want me on console, PlayStation 4 at the very least, not sure if PlayStation 5 and Xbox is. But for me, it's 1.28. So yeah, something a little bit different. I will be doing a video on the two new updates to the two mods by Create Mesh. There is an update to the premium expansion. Also, I can't find no change logs to it but yeah we've got straw harvest update bit of a big update there and some minor thick minor update to the emergency pack by creative mesh along with a brand new mode but that'll be a separate video but as always hope you found this helpful and informative in some way shape or form if so smash that button feel free to down below if you want to share some please be my guest if you're not subscribed to channel yet please consider but for you to do hope you're nice day but for now, it's me, Farmer Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all uh, very soon.